journalist, you're an editor. Um, what does Highway Africa, the conference, represent to you? To me, the theme of the conference, quality and professionalism. This is a theme that is very close to my heart. Uh, as a newspaper editor, I am increasingly concerned at what I perceive as the constant or the ongoing decline in the quality of journalism. And anything that is done to try and promote excellency in the practice of journalism is something that should be commended. What has brought on that decline? In my own country, I think it's a number of reasons. The main being a decline in the quality of the training that is offered by the institution, mm -hmm. government run, which trains journalists. Uh, another aspect is the mainstream media comprises mostly government owned uh, newspapers, radio, television, mm -hmm. and as owner of media, I don't think the government is particularly concerned about maintaining standards. They are not concerned about employing journalists who are professional, who are experienced. As a result, they have taken on people of lesser professional credentials. And this is reflected in the quality mm -hmm. of the newspapers, quality of television, quality of radio. What sort of value does media and journalism add to, to the advancement of communities on the continent? Where properly practiced, journalism can play a very crucial role mm -hmm. in promoting ideals. Journalism can play a crucial role in ensuring that there is good governance. Uh, and naturally, where there is good governance, the general public benefits. Uh, where journalism, where professional journalism is practiced, the, the public generally benefits the, through access to quality information, mm -hmm. access to uh, information that is, that is entertaining to them. So when I express concerns about the quality of journalism, it is with these issues in mind. Your book, Against the Grain, was launched last year already. Um, you used the platform of uh, Highway Africa to launch it. Yesterday, one of the issues it touches on is the, the fact that Zimbabwe used to be a bread basket, and it's now a basket case. What happened in Zimbabwe? Uh, the main theme of Against the Grain is the history of the country in the first quarter century uh, of its independence. And what I try to capture there is the transformation. It wasn't sudden, the gradual transformation, as you say, from being the breadbasket Africa, Southern Africa in particular, to being a basket case itself. Uh, and I try to trace how in my, I, I was, I was well positioned as editor of a number of newspapers to observe from a point of vantage the goings on in government. And I try to tell the story of how, in my view, our, re, our revolution lost direction to the extent that it is now devouring its own children. There is suffering in Zimbabwe today, which nobody would have expected 27 years ago, that we would be in such a situation of acute suffering. In a post-independence In era. a post-independence setup. 
the you ask how did that happen it's a long story mm -hmm. it has to do with our former liberators become once they were ensconced in office becoming so arrogant becoming so greedy uh, they no longer think about the majority of the population of Zimbabwe. But Mr. Nyarata, give us your thoughts on this, and I think we could compare with South Africa as well, which is a fairly new democracy. What the role of the media is in responsible reporting in a way that they're not necessarily breaking down um, the government instead of helping it grow. Mm. Any, any media that is doing its job properly has to has to have dog role over government. Uh, in Zimbabwe, this for, for, um, for the first 20 years or so of our independence, this role was sidelined mm -hmm. effectively through government Mr. intervention. Mr. Yeratu, unfortunately, time tied. Let's just squeeze in quickly the fact that um, Highway Africa forced us the use of technology, and you also have um, ZimbabweTimes.com. How is that doing in, in advancing journalism on the continent? And we need a quick response there. How is what doing? Zim ZimbabweTimes.com. Zimbabwe Times dot com. I was speaking to journalists from Zimbabwe. Has become a prominent player on the Zimbabwean media setup. My own regret, my own major misgiving is mm -hmm. that we do not reach the majority population of Zimbabwe. We could uh, talk about why that is the case, but thank you so much for coming through to talk to us. Respected journalist, author, and media owner, um, also writer of the book Against the Grain, Mr. Jeff Nyarota. We take a break for now. Discover art and culture every Monday in Curious Culture. On Tuesdays, experience drama in a naval base in Divers Down. Go head to head every Wednesday in Zone 14. It's all fun and laughter every Thursday in Family Bonds. Lawyers battle it out every Friday in Justice for All. Catch half an hour of the best entertainment. Weekdays, 5.30, only on SABC Africa. I'm <laughs> 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 